Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, sir. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, good evening teacher. We're going to start in two minutes. We're going to give time for the rest of the students to get connected, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, awesome, very nice. Teacher, I'm going to answer a call. Okay, Just... awesome. Okay, thank you. Okay, welcome. Okay, welcome to the rest of the class. Welcome. How are you today, students? I'm fine. I'm tired, but fine. Okay, very nice. Awesome. And today I'm on time in this in this class. <laughs> okay, very good. Sure, I'm driving driving right now. I only call uh, listen to the class for in a, for ten minutes. Okay, very nice for ten minutes. Very good, very good. Thank you. Awesome.
Okay, uh, we're going to start with the class. Good evening, students. How are you today? As well as I can, teacher. <laughs> as well as you can, okay. Uh, what happened? Uh, you're tired, you have problems again with your, with your job or not many sales? Yeah, well, it's kind of difficult to explain, teacher, but it's like, it feels like this. <laughs> um, I took very seriously the health, uh, the mental health team. So it's like, I feel like empty and it, but according to that, I feel good about it. I don't know why, because I, I, I have to be like sad because of the problems of my work, but it was like, maybe it's, it's like resignacion. <laughs> so okay. I don't know, it's like my body is there, is working. I, I did everything that I have to do, but, I recover my soul when I arrive to my home. Because so you were in a different place in your soul. Just yeah, your body exactly. was in your in your in exactly, your... exactly. It's just like I'm existing, but my soul is living in other universe because <laughs> I'm not right there in, in, in my work. So it's like, I don't know, just maybe that word explain what happened to me because I feel empty. Oh, my body okay. is in there, is there, but myself is isn't there. And it's like, and I try to solve that kind of problems because it's like maybe a existential crisis right now. And uh, I don't okay, know. <laughs> okay, very neat, very nice. Okay, um, remember that sometimes we got like some uh bad days in the case of that we don't usually act as we normally do, right? Okay, but um, at least what we got to do is like try to get uh, better, try to breathe and think and to have a time in order to meditate what happens. But it's, um, it's something, right, that really happened, okay? Yeah, you thank you. You're going to be better, I know. Yes, but you know what? The, the, the good about this is uh, maybe that I have I don't know my I put my attention in something different because I discovered that I have some um weaknesses that maybe I couldn't I can't handle uh, a lot of things at the same time so according to that I maybe have more all my attention in this because I can handle it everything at the same time so um yeah, that's good because this is what I want for it. I mean, the, the English, right? So yeah, yeah, that makes me feel better because if I put all my attention in that, I, I will study more this and yeah, something positive. <laughs> okay, that's awesome, very good. You know, that is something that really happens and we have to get accustomed to and sometimes we uh, need to like, get familiar with some things, right? Yes, thank you, teacher. And, and in this case, okay, uh, yeah. And in this case, uh, English is something that you like, so it makes you feel better. So it means that you're gonna put all your energies and uh, effort in order to practice, right? Because exactly. it's something you liked. Exactly. Awesome, very good, perfect. Okay. Um, Today we're gonna to start, uh, I'm gonna take the attendance list in order to uh, check that your attendance. Welcome from the ones who are recently connected um, to this class. Um, I hope you get better today with the class. You're gonna have a lot of practice time. And of course, I will uh, ask you to have some activities in the case of you're going to have some practice, okay? Okay, very nice. Um, as soon as you listen to your name, please send me present, okay? Adela Trinidad González Consuera. Aminda René Figueroa de Manzano. Present. Awesome. Belén Batre García. Present, teacher. Awesome. Carlos William Membreño Núñez. 
Devi Yasmin Giron Ramirez. Domingo Alexander González. Present. Ok. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Present teacher. Ok. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Ok, ok, ok. Oscar Alnupo Villatoro Herrera. Rosemary Ventura de Arguello. Present teacher. Ok, very nice. Rosibel del Carmen López. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Sonia Ivette Albarenga. Present. Awesome. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemus. Present teacher. Ok. Walter Omar Castaneda, per, <coughs> perdón, Perlera. Present. Ok. Wendy Karina Morales Amaya. Someone that I miss with your name. Has somebody recently connected? No, yeah, right. Okay, very nice. Okay, students. Um, I think yesterday we missed an activity, right? Yes, I, I don't remember. Ah, uh -huh, <laughs> I don't remember. Ah, what a coincidence, right? That you don't remember the homework. <laughs> hmm. It was not the homework. It was uh, the activity you already did, right? So it's just to, to have the time in order to produce the words. Um, yesterday we were in the activity of, yes. Oh, the conversation, yes. It was a part of the conversation. Okay, give me a chance right now. Here, yes. Okay. Let me check here. No, it's not this. It's this one. Yes. Okay. So uh, yesterday we were working in some conversation and that you were trying to work, right? And of course, you had some questions there in order to put into practice and to discuss uh, what is the meaning of some questions or some situations that you had there, right? Okay, perfect. Uh, for number one, uh, do you remember uh, there was a question, are Bob and Daisy having problems to store their products? What was the question, the answer that you got yesterday? Yes or no? Yes. They, they have, yes, they are. Yes, they have, sorry. They? Have. They have. Okay. Vamos a ver el resto. Yes, they are having problems because they don't have more rooms for for store their products. Okay, very nice. Awesome. What about the rest? The high problem about the space for stores for, for their products. Okay, awesome. Yes. Okay, very nice. Yes, they are having problems, right? Uh to the store the products. That's a, that's the, the conversation main point that they have problems to, to store their products. Okay, remember that if you want to make a short answer, you're gonna answer yes, they are because you are using here a um, present progressive tense, right? You're using are as a auxiliary and the verb is having, right? Okay, very nice. Let's go for it to number two. Do they know a lot of, about 3PLS? What do you think? They have, um, a, um, how can I say, knowledge about it, but they can handle uh, the information as well. So uh, I don't know, but they don't know much about it. 
Oh, okay, very nice. The rest? The same teacher, they don't know a lot of about 3PL because Bob only found this information, but it isn't clear for, for him. Okay, very nice. Okay, so in, the, in that case, it means that they have just a basic knowledge, right? Or a general knowledge about 3PL, that's right. Okay, very nice, good, very nice. Do you think Bob and Daisy will consider prices when hiding a 3PL? Definitely they consider. They consider why? Because they don't have a, a many resources to hide them. Oh, okay, very nice, excellent. Mm -hmm. What about uh, the rest? Do you have something different? No, the same. It's the same. Yeah. You you support your partner answer. <laughs> <laughs> He's my co-worker. Ah, <laughs> yes, of course, yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, very good. Excellent. So of course they have to consider, right? Very nice. Okay. So then you have the uh, part of certainty, uncertainty equations. Well, not equations, it's like an activities. So you had to choose one, which one was the correct, okay? So do you did? For example, number one, uh, let me listen to Rosibel. What do you have in number one, Rosibel? No, hi, everybody. Hi. In number one, uh, we select uh, are we like to say this for certain, but we are, but we, we may need to change our distributor, distributors. Okay, for certain, right? Yes. Awesome, distributors, okay. I wouldn't like to say this for certain, but we may need to change our distributors. Distributor, view, viewers. Okay, very nice. Repeat, distributors. 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 Viewers. View, como que aquí llamamos viewers. Viewers. Okay, distributors. Very nice. Distributors. Okay, very nice. Let's go with number two. It's correct, Rosibel. Okay, let's go with number two. What do you have there, Rosemary? Okay, uh, Mariano, what do you have in number two? The number two teacher. Yes. This is the manager finished evaluate, evaluating the three PLs available. Available. Uh, the, uh, available. Uh -huh. Not, I'm no knowledge, not my, to my knowledge. Uh, no, I'm, you know, not to know knowledge. Not, not to my knowledge. Yes. This one. Yes. Okay, very nice. Do you have something different, the rest of the class? The same teacher. Okay, very, very nice. Not to my knowledge. Okay, very good. And here we have T. It means it's a simple. Simple past statement. Okay, very nice. Let's go with number three. Let me listen to Aminda. Okay, the number three is is I doubt it's it is if effective to hire more than one third party logistics service. I doubt it is effective to hire more than one third party logistics service, right? Yeah. Okay, very nice. Awesome. Let me listen to Walter, number four. Number four. 
not to my knowledge, we have increased customer satisfaction. Not to my knowledge, we have increased customer satisfaction. Okay, do someone have something different? Yes, teacher. Okay. To the best of my knowledge. To the best of my knowledge, okay. The same, but uh, Walter, no remember. The same, the Walter? Uh, no, the same uh, work, work uh, yesterday with Walter. The same as well, but Walter not remember. To the best of my knowledge. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ok, ok, muy nice. Okay. <ríe> o sea que en el cuaderno que Walter anotó se le pasó a la siguiente. Yeah. <ríe> no, no, no tengo. Ajá, uh, only in my, in my, in my, put, uh, not. O sea que solo anotó en, en la USB, pero ahí como que le falló. <ríe> yeah, yeah. Ok, to the best of my knowledge, very nice, sí, to the best of my knowledge, ¿verdad? Porque cuando decimos not to my knowledge, nos estamos refiriendo, por ejemplo, a algo que usted en realidad no está muy seguro, ¿verdad? Y cuando usted dice, to the best of my knowledge, es como decir, bueno, lo que yo sé es que hemos aumentado ¿verdad? la satisfacción de los clientes, o sea, el, 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 el servicio a los clientes. O sea, ellos se sienten satisfechos. Ok, vamos con la number five. Which one do you have in number five, Vanessa? Mm, okay, I have, it's very unlikely for a small company to require logistic global services. Okay, it's very unlikely for a small company to require logistic global services. Okay, very nice. This one is the correct one. Okay, awesome. Now, um, you have another activity, right? Do you remember? Yes. Yes. Okay. It was about what? Make sentence with zero conditional and first condition. Awesome. Very nice. Okay. Perfect. Who wants to start first? With peer. Which peer? If Aminda wants to start, we can start. Okay. If Amanda wants to start, we can start. So it's a conditional. The sentence is a conditional. <laughs> okay. Very nice. Uh, it, it was not a sentence? No. Uh, it, was, it was right because she got the sentences. <laughs> so, so you made it unconscious. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> oh, very nice. So the, I, I was thinking, oh, that's a good statement. <laughs> okay, very nice. <laughs> I mean, it has the, the, all the sentences, so. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, so, um, Belen, you have nothing in your notebook and something like that, no? Mm -mm, no, teacher. <laughs> if she can mm -hmm. share. It's, are, you go, it's, are you going to share the screen, Maminta? Yes. Oh, okay, let me, let me stop my. We okay. are three, teacher. Um, oh. Uh -huh. Amanda and, and, and Rosemary. Rosemary. <laughs> okay, Rosemary. Very nice. Okay, can you see my screen? Yeah. Yes. Mm. Totally clear. Okay. So the third conditional, the, the first sentences, sentences is if I learned Italian or Ital Italian? Italian, Italian. Italian. I can express myself in four different languages. Very nice. So it means you already speak three. <laughs> it's not my case. It's uh, not my uh, case. It's my case. It's my case. case. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. maybe, maybe. I'm sorry. Tú también hablo francés. Teacher. Oh my God! Very nice, awesome. So you have to teach us. Bien chante. Ah, oh, I didn't understand, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> me siento como cuando estoy dando las las clases de de básico y hablo inglés y se me quedan los alumnos. 
¿Qué dijo? Ajá. <risa> Así me siento yo con los pasados en inglés. Ah, very nice. Pero ya vamos a empezar a trabajar los pasados, no se preocupen. Ok, very nice. Ok, very good. Good sentence. Rosemary, right. you can and read the next one. Ok, if I ate more vegetables, I'm more healthy. Ok, very nice. Y también... If I... I... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry. Ok, y ahí también nosotros podemos hacer el superlativo de healthy, lo podemos hacer healthier. Mm. También, ¿verdad? En vez de ponerle more healthy, solo hacemos healthier. Saludable. So, ajá, más saludable, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. O sea que recordemos que el, los superlativos, ¿verdad? ustedes vieron los superlativos en los módulos anteriores, ¿verdad? No, teacher. No. Now that I remember. Mm. Yes, you had to. In my see. case, teacher, because I start in the intermediate level, I don't have the basic ones. So I don't remember in the three uh, modes, I, I didn't remember. That. Okay, well, I'll teach you later on, okay? I promise you. Okay. Okay, very nice. Okay, it doesn't matter. Continue like this. Okay, if I read a lot of books, I have more vocabulary. Very nice, excellent. Okay, if I do exercise, I'm more fit. Yes. Okay, very nice. <laughs> I tried, I tried, but... <laughs> I tried, okay, very nice. But not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, very nice. Okay, if I rest more, I have more energy. Oh, yes, of course. That's what I would like to do, but I can't. Okay. You can, teacher. Yeah, I could, but I think it will be from November to December because those two weeks, two months, I'm sorry, are going to be more vacations. Yay. Okay. Yes, okay, very um, nice. Next, we have the five sentences of the first conditional. And the first one is, if I use too much the cell phone, I have a disease. I disease. Okay, very nice. Ahí también puede ser, if I use the cell phone too much, mm. puede ser esa posición, ¿verdad? If okay. I what? If I use the cell phone too much. Ah, ok, ok. Ajá, porque eh, eh, esa, esa que hemos hecho ahí es como una traducción directa del español, ¿verdad? Ajá, si uso mucho el teléfono, ok. ¿Cómo está? Sí, y en inglés we change like a little bit. If we use the cell phone too much. Yeah, you're right. En este, en este caso se aplica lo que a veces dicen, no, que el inglés todo es al revés. Ok. Ok, en este caso. Ok, very nice. Let's go with the second one. If I wake up early in the morning, I will have more time for me. Oh, okay, very good, interesting. If I don't respect the traffic signals, I will have an accident. Of course you will. Okay, if, yes. If I practice more English, I will improve my pronunciation. Awesome, very nice, that's what you got to do. Good. In my favorite synthesis. Okay. <laughs> If my bro, if my boss approve my day off, I'm going to go to the beach. Okay, Yay. very nice, awesome, <laughs> very nice. So that's the favorite one from the rest. That's the favorite, yeah. <laughs> okay, very good, excellent, very nice, good, excellent. Okay, finish. Okay, there's no questions for the groups that you have presented the, the statements. There's no question about zero and first conditional, no more? No. No, in my case, it's a, a teacher, like I said yesterday, it's kind of complicated to create the sentences because you already explained to us that we, when we are thinking about it or uh, try to do it, it's kind of complicated to remember. And that means that we have to practice more. Yeah, yeah, but it, it, you're going to handle with it. What you, what you need to do is to practice, okay? And, and to try to use it as much as you can in order to get accustomed to the usage of the, the tense. I already did one <laughs> unconsciously. Yeah, you did unconscious. I thought it was one of the first sentences. If I mean the ones, we can start. I said, oh, very nice, a good statement. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very nice. Excellent, okay. Let me listen to the next group. Rosibel with Walter, you were working together, right? Yes, sure. Awesome. 
Okay, very nice. Walter, can you can you read the zero conditional? Okay. Why if you eat a balanced fruit and vegetable, you stay healthy. Uh, Two. Healthy at the age. Okay. If if Health. you run money, mm -hmm. you have a uh, hair healthy. You have a heart healthy, okay. Yeah, they are very nice. Just uh, frequently is with Q. Sorry? The, uh, the word frequently uh -huh. is with Q. Frequent, with, instead of C. Instead of C is Q. And, and frequently, fre oh. frequently. Uh, Okay, well, instead well, of C, in vez de la C, va a la. Okay. Cool. Uh, cool. Yes. Mm -hmm. Frequently. Okay, very nice. Frequently. Very nice. If you read a lot, you employ your vocabulary. Very nice. If you go to the bed early, I don't have in some. And some, okay. In the last. If we speak English well, we get good opportunities in the job. Okay, very nice. Um, just one thing here. Um, English, instead of I is E. And instead of E, there is I. <laughs> okay, it's like, a, okay, very nice. Okay, very nice, good. First conditional. The first, the first conditional. Um, when I go to the doctor every year, I will stay healthy more time. Okay. If you do the homework at the end of the class, you will learn more English. Okay. If I go to the beach, I will relax in my job. Very nice. Unless go to the dentist, I will damage my teeth. Okay, unless, ahí se habla unless, le hace falta el sujeto. Okay. Unless I go to the dentist, okay, muy bien. If you lose the key car, you will top the car. Yes, very nice, top the car, very nice. Okay, good. Okay, now for you, Rosibel and Walter, do you have any doubt about the usage of C run fields conditional? Or is everything clear? We think it's clear. Clear, like water. Like water. Okay, very nice. Okay, um, let me listen to uh, Mariano. Who did you work yesterday with? Teacher, what is the meaning of instead? Instead of, and best day. Ah, okay, okay. But it's not the same as in the. In the, no, instead. No. Instead. Instead. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Si yo le digo, por ejemplo, um, instead of uh, writing a sentence, please speak. En vez de escribirme una oración, por favor, hábleme. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, instead, por eso le decía, instead of C, is the Q. En vez de la ah. C, va la Q. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, very nice. Awesome. Uh, Mariano, who do you work yesterday with? Teacher, I don't work yesterday because my internet down. You didn't work yesterday? No. Mm. Ah, Carlos. Carlos Membreño, who did you work yesterday with? Yesterday I, I worked with Debbie and I don't remember the other name. Okay, very nice. Vanessa? No, no. It's, a, it's, a, it's a guy. It's a guy. Uh, yesterday, I think, Roberto. Okay, we're going to wait for the rest of the class for the partner you worked yesterday in order to 
share the, the sentence or do you have all the all of them i don't have um debbie write the sentence oh debbie <laughs> wrote that sentences yes okay very nice good Vanessa. we support each other teacher which one we support each other <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, now i i noticed that there is one of the uh classmates that you choose in order to work one is the secretary and the rest is the one who provides the sentences right exactly mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay very nice vanessa who did you work yesterday with um worked with trini <laughs> trini oh, but trini is not here too okay but you have the statements yes yes I have ah, okay sure. very nice so if you can Give you can share me a second Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. And zero conditional uh, with training. We have, if I get my money, I buy a hamburger. If I am hungry, I look for something in the fridge. fridge. Yes, the fridge. If we practice English, we improve our skills. If she doesn't make the dinner, he buys pizza to him if you want to drive you must assist to driver's classes okay 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 just 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 a second a second if she doesn't make the dinner uh, mm -hmm. okay he buys pizza to him okay si ella, si ella no cocina quiero quiero terminar de comprender la oración o sea que él solo compra para él pero no para ella yeah yeah he is ah, selfish okay a selfish boy okay very nice awesome now is it clear okay <laughs> okay let's go for the next one okay um if i'm thirsty i drink water okay if he is bored we play some games okay if I have time, I watch a Korean drama and eat popcorn. This sentence made by Trini. <laughs> I don't oh, like Korean my drama. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's very nice. That's it. <laughs> and first conditional, if it is, I don't know if it is. If it's rain, if tomorrow. Uh, if it's rain, is correct. Okay. If it rains, I uh, it will be if it's you feel rain tomorrow. It's going to be. Ill rain, but it's, uh, in the case of a tense, we we talk about time or the weather is correct in that way. Okay. If it's rain tomorrow, we won't go to the party. Okay. If I have time, I will go to the gym. If you run two kilometers per day, you will be athletic. If I get off work early. I will go to the market and buy what you just ask, asked me for. Asked me for, okay. If you get off work early, you will buy me a chocolate bar. <laughs> okay. If we finish the homework, we will, we will sleep early. If she goes to the party, she will buy a beautiful dress and shoes. If I win the lot lottery, I will travel to the world, and uh, if I do my work well, my boss will congratulate. Congratulates me. Congratulates. Late with Late. S. Me. At the S, yes. Why? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Yes, you, mm -hmm. it's the, yeah, it's the result, right? Will mm -hmm. congratulate me. Yes, it's correct. It's correct. It's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank okay. Um, and then the sentence number A. You you can say it will, I will travel around the world. I will travel around around the world. Yeah. The world. Oh, see. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Like sí, va no solo en un solo lugar, va a ir different places, right? <laughs> mm, okay. Okay. You, Very sure. nice. Good. Thank Excellent. So, Vanessa, don't you have an equation about zero and first conditional? No, not no. Sure. It's clear. It's a clear. No. Okay. Awesome. Very nice. Great job. Excellent. And you did eight and five. And nine, sorry. Just you made 
you made a lot yeah. of them. <laughs> yeah. We have awesome. to practice, teacher. <laughs> yeah, that's the point. That's the point. Very good. Okay, awesome. Very nice. Let's go with the uh, next uh, group. I don't know if you have Evelyn, Mariano. Yes. Okay, very nice. Awesome. Okay, so I think all of you are like clear with the usage of um, first and a zero and first conditional, right? Because it's some basic statements in order to be used with present simple in both of the case of zero conditional and present simple will will in future as uh, the first conditional, okay? Perfect. So right now we're going to have just a, uh, the finish of this part of the unit because we have to finish some part of here. I'm gonna present uh, this part. Okay, you're going to work um, in one situation. So um, you're going to choose this uh, building vocabulary, vocabulary, sorry, which is matched the logistic service to their corresponding meaning. So those are four services that we have. Lead certification, freight forwarding service, disaster recovery plan and cross docking cap capability. So you're going to write in the, you're going to go on with uh, payers and to work with the meanings and the, choose the correct one. Who is the one correct according to the um, meaning that you have here. And then you're going to discuss the following checklist with areas considered when evaluating the third party logistic candidates, which are the most important. So you're going to think uh, what is important in order to evaluate a candidate in order to be working with the third party logistics. So you're going to think about they are financial stable with a long history of successful operations. Yes or no. They have great reference. Yes or no. They have disaster recovery plan. They have cost dropping capability. You're going to choose about that one. Okay. The lead leadership in energy and environmental design certification. So it's lead is going to be referring to this leadership in energy and environmental design. Okay. Excellent. I don't know if you have an equation about what you have to do. No, clear, right? Is it clear? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, very nice. I'm going to give you, I think it's going to be short in order to finish. I'm going to give you like 10 or 15 minutes at least, okay, in order to um check what is the correct one and of course to discuss in the case of they have too much yes or no okay teacher in which page are those exercises uh, in page 23 okay okay give me a second here Okay, uh, let me listen, yes. Maria, I mean, good evening, teacher. Hey, Debbie, good evening, welcome. Thank you. Okay, I'm trying to arrange the he, yes. Okay, there we go. Okay. Lead certification, 
freight forwarding service, disaster recovery plan, cross docking cap captability. Let me see, give me a second. A company that organizes shipment for corporation to get goods goods from the manufacturer to maker, customers or final point distribution. Oh, a company that organizes shipment for corporation to get goods from the manufacturing to a market. Customer or final point of distribution, a company. You say phrase for forwarding service? Frame for water service. For water service. Product for it's provided. I'm not sure. This concept is all new for me. Uh, that, the, the, the number A is, is the two sentence lead. Certification is about green building and, and design. Uh -huh. Safety proofs. Link, link certification is, is the number two sentence. Let's provide a point, us, point system to score green building design and this, construction. This list certification is? It is the, the second sentence. It provides a point system to a score green building, design building and design construction. and construct. O sea, en Spanish, es una certificación para desastre. Para, para edificios eh, verdes y. Verdes y, y construcción. Y construcciones. So I, provide, I provide this a point safety. Score three. El number is number eight. Disaster recovery plan. I think is the last. Set up procedures to recover and protect. And protect this business. Business yes. interest in the event of a disaster. Disaster, disaster. Number C. Yes. A disaster recovery plan. And the other two, I know how, I have zero idea why is, which one is which one. Why is cross docking capability? Cross docking capability. Uh, product from the suppliers are distributed directly to the customer or retail chain, in marginal, to no handling or storage time. Capability, the company subvention shipment and corporation will from the manufacturer to man. I got to share the, this for a cross docking capability. Is a kind of strategic or marketing for design, distribution of products to eliminate a storage stops. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a method with third party using third party or outsourcing. Yes, I think the the number one phrase is a letter B. Yes, number one. Number one. Number one is and the, the, the third phrase is letter D. 
pay for guarding service are products from a supplier distributed distribute directly to a customer or retail chain we marginal or marginal i don't know marginal or marginal to the right, marginal to the no handling or storage time marginal vamos a ser experta en okay. B A D C B A D C Yes. yes. Okay. Okay, number and number three. Discuss the following checklist with areas to consider when evalu evaluating your zero part logistics candidate. Candidates which are the most important. They are fin financially stable with a long history of successful operation. Yeah, I think that is important. Yes, because if if he if the company has experience, it's better. <laughs> it's better to hire them. We have to put on. And uh, I think it's, it's only the two exercises we're going to do. Teacher? You already finished? Yes, the exercise number two and number three is done. Yes, yeah, number two and number three, yes. Yes. Finish. You finished, so you yes. are fast and furious. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. So we're we going to the main room or waiting here? We, we have to wait because there are some students that are still having problems with the with the first part. Ah, with the the definition, the yeah. definitions. Yeah, okay. the definitions. It it you just have to pay a little bit like. Uh, attention to some words that give the clue in order to get which one is the correct one. Okay. Okay. So... David, if you want to take a picture of... Yes. Ya, ya lo hice. Ah, okay. Okay. Thank you. Para que tengamos ahí las respuestas. How old is your daughter? She's five. Ah, for five years old. Yes. Okay. And and the ship probably it's a 3PL and then okay. they, they have certification. But if we're talking about the, the national authors, they don't have. Mm, maybe, maybe yes. Mm. I, I, well, in my case, I didn't know any kind, any, any, any author, they have that kind of certification. But in my case, in my case, I, I, I remember one or two companies have certification. Like, and like who? Yes. Like who? Mm, I don't remember. One is Simon. Simon. But Simon uh, is not an outsource. Simon, Simon, Simon Group have 
a lot of companies and they have a logistic company. The, his name is Loistex. I don't remember. But the day I, I remember. The first for warden service is very important for me. Yeah. Teacher. Yes. Uh, in, in this part, uh, we see uh, the all on the the this the, the phrase are is is yes. In the number three, you have to choose to check. Sorry. Which one are yes or which one are no? Is if uh, those are are very important for us? Yeah, for you, for you, it's for you. Uh -huh. According but to your criteria. Usually, usually, one one area is the responsibility in disaster recovery plan. Is that you mentioned? Layo. Layo. Is not considered yes. Yes. No, but teacher in say in our case is 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 important. But uh, not all the companies has uh, or give the uh, disaster recovery plan. It's more responsibility in. But no, but in the party, see, yes, teacher, we think is is important. What is the the seven? Uh, this is this certification. Uh, the, I don't this, know. this number seven is the one that you worked at the beginning, and it says lead certification. Mm -hmm. And and there you have in parentheses the meaning of lead leadership oh. in energy and environmental design. Okay, we select all uh, states is are okay for, for we. Okay, uh, if you think in, that in, is important, yes. Okay, please mm -hmm. share the column yes or no for each statement about three APL candidates. So if you think that those are really important in order to have for candidates mm -hmm. as 3PL. Uh -huh. You only select the most important uh, or which the, are the most uh -huh. which the are ones the that you, you think is mm -hmm. are not important just put now oh oh yes okay okay princess mm. in the country in which you do business for example see yeah, I have. Uh, if, if I have a warehouse in another country, yes. I need a, I need, a, need, a, I need to, a to know the to know the 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 market of, of this country. Yes, the the rules. Yes, because different different countries have different uh, what different rules. I, I don't know who say legal legal <laughs> legal legal rules. Yes, yeah, rules. Steps. Impuestos, tax. I don't know. Okay. Uh, really, mm, the number six is yes. Okay. It's important. Uh, and the number seven, we had the definition of leap, leadership, energy, and environmental design. design certification. And TPL. Mm. Uh, yes, it's important. But no. But not necessary, I think. Um, obligatory. Um, I don't okay. know. Yes. Uh -huh. Depends. Maybe it's, it's, maybe no is, no is it's important for the for the 
for the Ministry of Trabajo. But it's a good reference for UCLA uh, outsourcing. Yes, but I think it's no, because it's not necessary. It's, it's, a, it's a plus. <laughs> Yes, it's not necessary, but it's a, it's a point extra to... Extra point to... To the good reference. Yes. Okay. Not necessary, but it's, it's important in the end. Peter. Hello. Hello, Ibet. Peter, please do me and... Ten minutes approx. You want ten minutes? Uh, maximum ten minutes. Solo voy a gustar al niño. Okay, very nice. No problem. Sorry, today I'm not I'm alone. Okay, very nice. Okay. okay, awesome. So right now we're going to share the screen. Do you finish right? Right. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Very good. Here, yes. Okay. So we're going to start with uh, the reading of this part. Okay. I would like to listen to... Let me listen to Adela. Can you please read the part? Teacher, I don't know if it's just me, but I can see you, your screen. I just see English Corporativo is to start the function of sharing the screen. But I oh. can see you. I see the screen, the teacher. Okay, very nice. Let, let me do one more time. Let me do one more time. Okay. Let me check right now. Yes. Yes, I can see. Okay. In this case, okay, the verb to use is watch. I can watch the screen. Oh. Okay, very nice. Okay, excellent. Um, okay, Carlos, can you please read this one? Okay, the company that organizes shipments for corporation to get goods from the manufacturer to a market customer or final point of distribution. Okay. Organizes. This one, organizes. Organizes. Okay, organizes. Nice. A company that organizes shipments for corporations to get goods from the manufacturer to a market, customer or final point of distribution. Very good. Okay, right now. Let me listen to Carlos. Which one did you choose for that? The letter B. Letter B. Free, free for wording service. Free for wording services. Okay, do the rest of the class have something different or the same? The same teacher. The same teacher. The same, the same teacher. Okay, very nice. Very good is letter B. 
Awesome. Let's go with the next one. Can you please, uh, let me check. Vamos a ver. Debbie, can you please read this one? Okay. I provide a point system to score green building design and construction. Okay, which one do you think is the correct one? Uh, okay. And the little A? Letter A, lead certification. Uh, yes. Okay. No. Ah, sí, sí. Yes. Yes. Okay, very nice. What about the rest? Do you have the same or different? The same. The same. Okay, very nice. Oh my gosh. It's not the best A, but I think you notice this A, right? Okay. Yes, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's go with the next one. Uh, can you please help me to read this, uh, Rosibel? Okay, teacher. Products for from a supply, supplier. 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 Products from a supplier are distributed directly to a consumer or retail chain with marginal to no handling or storage time. Okay, very nice. Product from a supplier are distributed directly to a customer or retail chain with marginal to no handling or storage time. Very good. So, which one do you letter, have there? Letter D. Letter B D. or D? D. 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 Okay, very nice. The rest, do you have something different or is it the same? The, the same. same. The same. The same. Letter D. Okay, very nice. Yes. So, and we have the last one that is already answered because it's the one missing. Can you please read this one, Vanessa? A set of procedures to recover and protect a business IT infrastructure in the event of a disaster. Okay, set of procedures to recover or protect business, IT, infrastructure in the event of disaster. Okay. It's letter C, right? Letter C. Okay, it's the easiest. Very nice. Okay, awesome. So those are some concepts that we have according to um, some logistic services that we can have at the moment of uh, having some situations, right? Okay, very nice. This lead certification, it's almost answered here because here we have the concept, right? Leadership and, and uh, energy in energy and environmental design, right? So we have the answer of lead. It, well, which one is the meaning of the abbreviation, right? Okay. So right now, uh, this chart, maybe it can vary according to your idea about if you think it's important or not about some uh, statement that are necessary in order to apply for candidates with 3 PL. Let me listen to number one. Can you please, um, Walter, can you please read this number one? Okay. They are financially stable with a long history of successful operation. For a group, we answer in yes. Okay. They are financially stable with a long history of successful operation. Yes, right? Okay, it's according to you. Very nice. Excellent. What about the rest? Do you have something different or I think it's the same? Design Okay, very nice. Good. Let's go with the next one. Uh, well, I know Walter already, right? I'm sorry. Uh, Mariano, which one do you have there? 
Can you please read and then tell me if it's yes or no? Okay, teacher. They have a great reference. Uh, references. References, sorry. Okay. I think no. They have great reference? No? No, it's an important. Okay, okay, very nice, good. What about the rest? Do you have something different or the same? Different. Different. You have yes? Yes. Okay. Why yes? Because when I select uh, some some business working with in our company, we usually ask reference for the service is okay or not. Three oh, okay. or, or four or four. Um, currently uh, is uh, working in, in that company with deep, with company so, so for you it's really important in order to have references right in your company yes yes okay very nice and the rest the, of the class think that it's really important to have references too right some of the class and but in this case okay there are some students that think that are, are not important okay it's according to your criteria right good Let's go with the next one. They have a disaster recovery plan. Do you think it's necessary? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Yes, okay, yes, yes. Okay, the rest? The same, yes. Okay, very nice, yes. Very good, awesome. Let's go with the next one. They offer cross docking capability. Okay. Do you think it's important? Mm -hmm. No. Yes. No. Okay. There are some that say no, there are some say yes. Okay. Why do you think it's no and why do you think it's yes? I think it's, it's important because uh, when you have uh, only one only one um, channel of distribution, maybe it's complicated to move the the quantity of the product, and and, and you have different options or two or three options. Maybe you can organize in organize uh, the, the, the product. Okay, very nice, excellent, good. Okay, the ones that say no, why do you think it's not important? It uh, can be super for uh, different area. Can be supplied by different areas. Uh -huh, yes. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, very nice, awesome. Good. Remember that cross docking capability sometimes is, is better when they have to move some uh, products from different areas, right? So here is the part is that you have not to wait for uh, so many time in order to have the products because they are able to move you from different places to different places. It's like in a chain, right? When you work in a chain comp companies, they have so different ways in order to move all of those the products that you need. Okay, very nice. Let's go with the next one. They offer free for, uh, I don't have to read it. No, I don't have. Aminda, can you please read it? Uh, the number five? Yes. Okay, they offer free forwarding service. Okay, do you think it's necessary? Mm. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, you were like meditating or thinking yes or no? <laughs> <laughs> because I I read again the 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 definitions and this is, is for me is is very important to evaluate. Yes. Okay, very nice. Awesome. Do you have uh something different? Do you have something different the rest of the class? 
The same. Okay, the same. Very nice. Excellent. Belen, this one. Okay. They have experience in the countries in which you do business. They have experience in the countries in which you have business. Do you think it's very important? Uh, okay. According to that question, it is important. But my answer to this is no. Mm -hmm. How According come? Okay. Your question uh, was, if it is important to have those experience. Yes, oh, it is yeah, important. Yeah. But I was like thinking about our, uh, I don't know how can I say, but I was thinking about El Salvador. So, and maybe for example, in here, many um, uh, companies doesn't have those experience. So for me, it's not important. Okay. It's not, well, not a requirement. Okay, okay, very nice. Okay, remember in these cases, according to have a contract with a 3PL provider, right? Yes. Okay. But if, if, I think, I also think, thought, sorry, that if the company already have a um, reference, it doesn't have to care about the experience in other countries. Oh, okay. Very nice, awesome. Okay, very good. Do someone have a different point of view or is the same like last Lauren says? Okay, let's go with the last one. Okay, the last one, uh, let me listen to so right here, Rosemary. Okay. They have lead leadership in energy and environmental design certification. Okay, energy and environmental. Energy and environmental design certification. Okay, very good. So do you think it's important? In my case, I think it's very important because it says too much about the company and the compromise they have about the environmental. Environmental situations, yes. Okay, very nice, good. So that's the part of, okay, we have an activity to work here, but I'm going to take the time in order to talk about a topic. I want you to talk about a topic which is really important for me. And of course, I think it's really important for you. It's about simple past. So we're going to talk about simple past. Okay. I want you right now to have all your ears open or your eyes open and all your attention in the class because we're going to work about some important aspect about simple past. Okay, have you seen or have you have have you talked about simple past before? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes, teacher. Okay, what can you tell me about simple past? For example, I remember that the structure of the sentence is almost the same at the present, at the simple present, the structure, but uh, we can use, for example, uh, we can agree the auxiliary or we have to change the verb of the past form. Okay, very nice, good. What about the rest? In simple past, for the regular pairs, we had the rule to up in the NED. But okay. we had also irregular pairs, and they change out sometimes. Okay, very nice, good. So, we're going to talk about simple past. And of course, I wanted to make clear that when we talk about simple past, we talk about something that was talking about in the past situations. Okay, so it's, it's something that was in the past. 
So it means if I want to if I want to talk about simple past, I have to talk about something that finished in the past. It's no more in the future. It's no more in the present. Okay. So we're going to talk about past. That is really important for you to remember that in the in the simple past, we have some auxiliary. What is? Did. Did. Yes. Okay. And of course, I want you to remember that we have another part of simple past. That is, was and where. Was and where. Okay. This is like when we talk in present. Este es como cuando nosotros hablamos en el presente, el presente simple, ¿verdad? Que tenemos el auxiliar do and does. Pero también dentro del presente simple se mezcla el verbo to be. ¿Verdad? ¿Se recuerdan del verbo to be cuando decir eh, yo soy o yo estoy? I am a teacher. He is a doctor. She is a nurse. I am an engineer. I am in my house. She is in her office. She is in a museum. She is in the pool. She is in the river. She is in the stadium, etc. Right? So we use verb to be to talk about zero star, right? Yes. Okay, yes. Very, very nice. Entonces, con el was y el where es la misma situación. Estamos hablando de cero estar, pero en pasado. ¿Verdad? Como para decir fue, pero no del verbo ir, ¿verdad? Sino que fue, he was a famous uh, teacher. Él fue un, fa un maestro famoso. Very nice. Okay. She were in the cafeteria. Él estaba en la cafetería. Estaba, ¿verdad? Okay. In the past. Very nice. Entonces, ahora, yo puedo utilizar esto. Si yo digo, por ejemplo, en presente, yo utilizo la oración y digo, I am in the gym. Por ejemplo, I am in the gym. Ahí está diciendo que estoy en el gimnasio, ¿verdad? Es in present, right? Yes. Ok, para hacerlo en pasado solamente cambio el verbo to be, ¿bien? I was in the gym. Y ya la convertí en pasado con el verbo to be. Very nice. Ahora, ¿con cuáles utilizo el was y con cuáles utilizo el where? Good. Utilizo el was... Con los sujetos I, you, he, he she, she, and it. Very nice. ¿Con quiénes utilizo el word? You, you we, they. and they, ¿verdad? Ok, awesome. Yo tengo que utilizar esos sujetos con cualquiera. Y yo voy a llevar el was y el where tanto en la pregunta, en la oración afirmativa y en la oración negativa. En todo, en todo, right? Ok, very nice, good. Ahora entonces, yo acá utilizo las preposiciones, utilizo las profesiones, utilizo los lugares para hablar sobre lo que yo quiero que fue o que estuvo en pasado. Very nice. Y nos vamos como cuando nosotros hablamos en el presente simple de las acciones, ¿verdad? Acá es donde entra el did. Por ejemplo, yo en, en presente digo, por ejemplo, she doesn't. It pitch, por ejemplo. Tengo una oración negativa, ¿verdad? She doesn't eat fish. Esta es una oración en presente, ¿verdad? En presente. Ok, ¿cómo la convierto en pasado? She wasn't eat fish. She didn't eat fish. She didn't eat fish. She didn't eat fish. Fish. Ok. Y es acá donde entra el did. El did se utiliza con todos los sujetos. 
Esa es la diferencia la, al presente simple, que el do y el does tienen diferentes usos con diferentes sujetos. Acá no, el did va con todos. Ahora pasa acá que, que el did solo lo utilizo en la pregunta y en la oración negativa. Por eso son las partes más fáciles de trabajar. ¿Por qué? Porque cuando yo llevo el auxiliar, aunque esté hablando de pasado, el verbo va en forma base. No cambia. Si yo la hago en pregunta o la hago en negativa, el verbo va a ir en su forma base. No va a cambiar. Independientemente esté hablando yo en pasado. ¿Qué me da a entender que estoy utilizando una oración en pasado? El did. Y en este caso, didn't. ¿verdad? Porque está contractado. Que no. Ella no comió pescado, ¿verdad? The past. Ok. ¿Y qué es la parte más difícil entonces de esto? La parte más difícil es cuando hacemos las oraciones afirmativas. Porque en las afirmativas no llevamos auxiliar. Y es ahí donde yo tengo que utilizar los verbos en pasado. Y tenemos los verbos regulares y los verbos irregulares. ¿Qué es acá donde empieza? Ay, caramba, los regulares. Ay, los irregulares. Ay. Eso es lo que no me gusta, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué no poner el did mejor? No. It's, it's, it's not able to do it. No se puede, ¿verdad? Y acá es donde empezamos nosotros. A quebrarnos la cabeza. ¿verdad? Regular, irregular. Regular, irregular. Ahora, ¿qué es lo que tengo que tener en cuenta? Que los regulares son los más fáciles. Why? ¿Por qué? Porque solamente les agregamos ed a todos. ¿Ah? It's about pronunciation, right, teacher? Yes. Ahora sí. Llevan unas pequeñas reglas, ya, so, ya sea para pronunciation, o unas reglas en cuanto a algunos pequeños aspectos, que esos son los que vamos a ver ahora, ¿verdad? Y también vamos a ver los irregulares, que son los que nos, nos matan. ¿verdad? que tienen diferente forma y diferente eh, escritura tanto en el presente, en el pasado simple, como en el pasado perfecto, ¿verdad? Ok, very nice. Y ahí es acá donde vamos. Eh, por ejemplo, tenemos, ¿verdad? Si, imagínense que tengo un verbo que se llama work. Ok, work. Voy a poner en minúscula para el espacio. Work. Este pasado lo convierto en worked. ¿verdad? Solamente le agrego ed. Este es un verbo regular. regular. Solamente le agrego ed. Ahora, ¿qué pasa con un verbo irregular? Change bueno, everything. Cambia. Por ejemplo, tengo el verbo break. Quebrar. El pasado simple es broke. Broke. Rogue. Ah, ese de los irregulares, sí, los que cambian de forma. Cambia de forma, lleva la, la D, la R, la O y también lleva la K, pero la lleva en diferente posición y cambia. Ya no lleva break, sino broke. Hasta la pronunciación cambia, miren. Por ejemplo, acá el verbo es work y el pasado worked. Acá es break, broke. Cambia. Entonces yo... Esto es lo que me tengo que aprender. ¿Y por qué me lo tengo que aprender? Porque tengo que aprender a conocer los verbos regulares e irregulares porque son con los que voy a estar trabajando a menudo. Porque después de esto también vienen lo que son los pasados perfectos, que es acá, o los presentes perfectos, donde yo utilizo totalmente los verbos en eh, manera eh, participio. ¿no? Y ahí también hay irregulares y yo tengo que aprender a dominarlos ellos. Ok. Hasta acá, una question? No. no. Like what, right? Kind of. <laughs> kind of. Ok, very nice. Ahora acá vamos a lo que es a trabajar un poquito sobre los spelling, ¿verdad? La, la parte del spelling cuando nosotros estamos hablando sobre los verbos que son irregulares. Que, bueno, perdón, irregulares que es acá donde cómo nosotros modificamos los verbos regulares, ¿ok? Eh, le voy en este caso a poder eh, dictar. ¿Qué les parece si les dicto las, las reglas? ¿Dictation? Ok. Ok, okay very nice. 
Vamos a anotar entonces. Let me know when you're ready to take notes. Ready? Yes. Okay. Vamos. Spelling rules. Spelling rules. For the simple past tense. Spelling rules for the simple past tense. Open parenthesis. Regular verbs. Regular verbs. Teacher, sorry, yes. I have a question. Yes. But no, if um, uh, it's just not very fast. Um, I, 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 I don't remember if in the case of the verbs that doesn't change at all. Even uh, we don't agree anything, and we don't change anything. Those are irregulars too, or has another name? The ones that change everything. No, doesn't change anything. Oh, you yes. don't agree anything, or and doesn't change anything. We have three group of irregular verbs. The ones that uh -huh. are the same in the three different ways: present, okay. simple past, and past participle. We have another group that are the same in the in the simple past and the past participle, but not in the present. We have the third group, which which are different in three ways. So we have three groups uh -huh. of them. Just in the irregular verbs. Irregular. So these rules are not for irregulars, are for regular verbs. Okay. Nice. Okay. okay. I told you it's spelling rules for the simple past tense, open parenthesis, uh, regular verbs, right? Then close parenthesis. Okay. Rule number one. If the verb ends, if the verb ends in a consonant, if the verb ends in a consonant, we add ed. If the verb ends in a consonant, we add ed. Okay, very nice. You got it? Yes. Yes, you sure. Yes. Okay, very nice. In the same rule, but, but if the verb ends, but if the verb ends in E, if the verb ends in E, we just add D. Uh, when the verb ends with what? E, E. That is A, right? Yes, we just add D. Okay. Le puede dictar un example. I'm going to dictate you some examples, okay? For example, the verb return. The verb return, como termina en a consonant, we just add ed, right? Que sería? Return. 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 Very nice. Excellent. The bell help, 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 helped. helped. Okay, very nice, good. Con ed, verdad? Ambos con ed. Okay. Y ahora en el caso de los verbos que terminan. You repeat the last one, teacher. Help, help. Ah, uh -huh, okay. is the the, the present, and the past is helped. Ok, very nice, good. Buen ejercicio para practicar el listening, ok? Very nice. Vamos. 
Uh, con la siguiente red, la que iba, ¿verdad? El ahí mismo que decía que los que terminan con E. Right? Ok, for example, the bird leave. The bird leave termina con E, ¿verdad? Se pronuncia leave, pero termina leave, right? Yes. So you just add the lived. Lived. Mm -hmm. The bird create. Create. Termina con E, ¿verdad? Le agregamos son, solamente D. Sería created. Ok. Y el verbo die, el verbo de morir, die, right? Termina con E. Solamente le agregamos D, right? Died. Ok, finish. Yes, teacher. Yes. Ok, rule number two. If the verb finish, or if the verb ends, como ustedes lo quieran agregar, right? if the verb ends with consonant, vowel, consonant, if the verb ends with consonant, vowel, consonant, Teacher, I don't remember how to write vowel. Vowel. B-O-W-E-L. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Combination. If the verb ends in consonant, vowel, consonant, combination, we double the last consonant. We double the last consonant. Ok. Ahora, si el verbo termina con consonante, vocal, consonante, con la combinación consonante, vocal, consonante, duplicamos la última consonant, ¿verdad? Ok, very nice. Y, ok, and, lay, and then we add ed. And then we add ed. And then we add ed. So, primero tenemos que duplicarle la última consonante y después le agregamos el ed, ¿verdad? Ok, perfect. Por ejemplo, el verbo... ¿Lo tienen? Finish? Yes, teacher. Yes. Ok, very nice. Por ejemplo, tenemos el verbo rob. Se lo voy a escribir acá. Spell it. Ah, okay, very nice. If you wanted to spell it, good. Okay. Rob, R U B. Okay. It finished with consonant, vowel, consonant, right? So it means that we have to change. It's going to have double B, right? Okay. Teacher, which B? Which B? Uh -huh. The last B. So, duplicaríamos la última. No, no, no. La... Sorry. V o V. <laughs> B, B. La ah, V okay. es V. Sí, ok. Yes. Are you B? Ok. Tenemos el siguiente. H-O-P. Combination, consonant, vowel, consonant. H-O-P. Sorry for the Kaisers. Okay, very nice. Hope. H O P.
Yeah, it's hope. What, what does it's it mean? Not hope? Hop, hop. It's not hope. It's hop. Hop. Ah, okay. Hop, hop. hop. What does it's, it mean, teacher? Uh, this bear hop is like another way to say jump. Ah. Es un pequeño brinco, ¿verdad? Okay. Un pequeño, no es jump, es como saltar de seguir. Y este es como un pequeño brinco, ¿verdad? Hop. Okay, we have the combination consonant, vowel consonant. So we double the last P, right? Okay, very nice. Is it clear? Okay, point. We're going to add a point and continue with the next part. Vamos en la misma regla, ¿verdad? <laughs> However, However, comma, do not double do not double do not what? Do not double no duplicate, uh, double, doble d-o-u-b-l-e Double the combinations with the verb endings in the combination. Cuando digo the combination, me refiero al CVC, ¿verdad? Consonant, vowel, consonant. With the verbs ending in W. X or Y. You got it? The combination, perdón. Yes. Repeat the last part. The combination of the verbs endings with W X or Y. Okay. ¿Verdad? Dice que, pero no dupliquemos la, en la combinación, o cuando tengamos la combinación con los verbos que terminan en W, X o Y. En esos casos, aunque terminen en consonante, vocal consonante, no se duplica. ¿Verdad? No se duplica. Ok, por ejemplo, tenemos con, con el uh, W, tenemos un verbo que es bow. B-O-W. B-O-W. Ok. Que es una forma de decir eh, inclinarse, agacharse, eh, doblar, etc. Bow. Yeah. B-O-W. Ahí no termina en consonante, vocal consonante, pero we, ha, we don't have to double the last uh, consonant. We just add ed. Solamente le agregamos ed. Very nice. And then tenemos la siguiente con x, el verbo mix. Mix, de mezclar, ¿verdad? M-I-X. We have the combination vowel, consonant, vowel. Consonant, vowel, consonant, right? And uh, we don't have to uh, double the last one. So we just add ed, mixed. We have the verb played. It ends in consonant, vowel, consonant, consonant L, vowel A, and consonant Y. We don't double the last consonant. We just add ed. Is it clear? Yes, it's okay. Very nice. The rest, you got it. You got it. Yes, teacher. Okay, very nice. Excellent. Yes. So let's go for rule number three. Okay. Y acá es donde, en esta rule number three se parece a la que vimos en en la simple present, verdad? Okay, if the verb ends in Y, if the verb ends in Y,
if the verb ends in Y and there is a consonant before the Y and if there is a consonant before the Y, we change the Y to I. We change the Y to I. And then we add ED. One more time. If the verb ends in Y, if the verb ends in Y and there is a consonant before the Y, we change that Y to I. And then we add ED. You got it? Okay. Yes. Very good. Si un verbo termina con Y, ¿verdad? Pero antes está una consonante antes de la Y, ¿verdad? Cambiamos la Y por una I y luego le agregamos ED. Excellent. Vamos con los verbos. El verbo worry. De preocuparse. Worry. Termina con Y, ¿verdad? Y le antecede una consonant. R, worry. ¿Qué dice la regla? We change the Y and add I, E, D. E, D. I, and then we add E, D. Very nice. Good. I, E, D. Good. Sería worried. Very nice. The next verb, carry. Carry. The verb carry ends with Y and is preceded by a consonant. So we change the Y, we add I, and then with I, E, D. Carry and the verb with the modifications, it will be carried. Okay. Finish? Yes. Yes. Good. No, rule number, this was run, rule number three, right? rule number four. Four. Yes, rule number four. If the verb, if the verb ends in Y, if the verb and seem wide. And there is a vowel before the Y. And there is a vowel before the Y. We just add, we just add ED. ED. Okay, if the verb ends in Y and there is a vowel before the Y, we just add ED. Si el verbo termina en Y, ¿tá? y está antes una vocal, nosotros simplemente le agregamos ED. No hay modificación, no le quitamos la Y por la I, solamente le agregamos ED, ¿verdad? Okay, very nice. But there are some exceptions. Ah, oh, well, well, um, no le dicté los ejemplos, ¿verdad? Ok, por ejemplo, no. el, ver, el verbo play, no. el verbo play, played. ¿Verdad? Como termina con J y está con A, simplemente le agregamos ED. El verbo annoy, el verbo molestar, annoyed, como termina en J y tiene una vocal antes que es la O, solamente le agregamos ED, annoyed. Ok, awesome. You got it? Yes. Good, excellent. Okay, then we go with the next. But there are exceptions. But there are exceptions. 
but there are exceptions. Okay. The verb pay. The verb paid. This one. If you can watch in the chat, si pueden ver el chat. Tenemos el verbo paid, ¿verdad? Y, y acá hay una excepción. Tenemos el verbo paid y acá le hacemos una modificación y el pasado sería paid. paid. Así como se los mandé ahorita, ¿verdad? No le agregamos ed, sino que eliminamos la y, le ponemos la i, pero solamente le ponemos la de, ¿verdad? Ok. Tenemos el siguiente verbo que sería laid. Y sería lo mismo. Simplemente eliminamos la y y le agregamos i y luego la de. Sería laid. A laid, laid. Very nice. Tenemos el verbo siguiente que sería el verbo said. Y tenemos la misma modificación que sería el verbo ¿verdad? said. Said. Ok, very nice. Questions? teacher. Clear like water. Yes. Okay, very nice. How was the detection? Was good? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. I should have gone faster, ¿verdad? Debió haber ido más rápido, ¿verdad? <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. For the next time. El... Para las otras reglas que voy a... Vamos a dar las reglas de pronunciation porque las vamos a dar. Ok. Estas reglas son para los verbos regulares. Quiero que no se les vaya a olvidar eso. Para los verbos regulares. Los irregulares no tienen regla. Simplemente nos toca aprendérnoslo. Si yo sé que el verbo break es en presente, en pasado es broke... En pasado simple y en pasado perfecto, o el que nosotros le llamamos, ¿verdad? El past participle. Broken. Es broken. No hay una regla que me diga cómo modificarlo, no. Me tengo que aprender que broken es el pasado participio y que el break es el presente y que el broke es el pasado simple. Así me lo tengo que aprender. ¿Ok? Si el verbo give, ¿verdad? Give es en mm. presente. Gave en pasado. Given en pasado participio, no es regla. Tengo que aprendérmelo. Right? Ok. Awesome. Um, creo que el tiempo no nos da para poder agregarle más, ¿verdad? Porque eh, falta mucho. Pero es importante. Estas reglas son importantes para los pasados, eh, los verbos regulares. Eso sí son importantes. Ok. Pero uh, es importante también que ustedes vayan. Eh, viendo algunos verbos irregulares, porque normalmente son los que más nos dificultan. ¿verdad? Son los que más nos complican la vida. Until here, you have any question? No, teacher. Clear like water. Yes. yes. Clear like the desires that you have to go to bed right now. <laughs> yes. Okay, very nice. <laughs> Walter is in the bed already. I saw you, Walter. <laughs> Walter is like... Sorry. Yes. <laughs> I, I see the... How to say obe? To say what? Ovejas. Rain. The bed. Oh. Está contando ovejas. Oh. Sheep. Oh, sheep. 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 oh, yeah. Okay, I pensé que me estaba diciendo obed, pero bed in, in English. Okay, very nice. <laughs> Ok, very nice. So, no anotó las reglas entonces, va. Mm -hmm. I got you. I got you, man. Ok, very nice. Ok, um, 
so this is really important for you to uh, learn these rules in order to have it in, in practice in your mind. Uh, there are some similars in some aspects as at the present, but you have to get in this space uh, the ohms of past because that's the one that you're going to use it. I know it's grammar is boring. Yo sé que la gramática es aburrida. Nunca va a ser divertida, ¿verdad? Pero no puede haber otro método. Grammar is really important. If you don't have grammar, you have nothing in English. Okay, you need to have grammar. Okay, and um, I give you this rule because are going to be useful for you. In the case of uh, you use it, uh, sometimes you need to know how, why this is with double uh, situations and the, the letters and the present is not with double ending. So you need to know why, why it happened. You need to know when, for example, the verb pay is not with Y and ED, but is with I and D. So you need to know why do you use it. Okay, now that you have the rules, you're going to know why they use in that way. Okay, excellent. So I'm going to take the attendance list. And as soon as you listen your name, please tell me present, okay? If you're almost to fly, please wait, wait for a minute. Adela Trinidad González Consuera. Present. I mean, hello? Present. Okay. Aminda René Figueroa de Manzano. Present. Good. Belén Batre García. Present, teacher. Okay. Carlos William Membreño Núñez. Present. Okay. Debbie Yasmin Girón Ramírez. Present. Very good. Domingo Alexander González. Present. Okay. Jose Roberto Martínez Bernabe. Present teacher. Very good. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Good. Oscar Anulfo Vietoro Herrera. Present. Ok, Oscar, usted se queda conmigo después de la clase, ok. Rosemary Ventura del Cuello. Present teacher. Ok, Rosibel del Carmen López. Present teacher. Very nice. Salvador Augusto Rivas. Sonia Yvette Alvarenga. Present. Good. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemus. Present teacher. Ok, very nice. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present. Very good. And Wendy Karina Morales Amaya. Okay, very nice students. So um, see you tomorrow. Uh, have a nice dreams, sweet dreams. Okay, enjoy your dreams. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Okay, Oscar, um, this space is for you in order to um, clarify if you have some doubts about the topics that we have uh, been working. Yes, teacher. Uh, can you help me with the part of the as or as? Uh, At the comparative. Yes, I, rem I remember is the, the word one. Point five. As and as. This this, this is comparative. Sí, la la la. ¿Cómo se llama la tarea 1.5? Sí. Ah, tarea no, 1. Ah, la la que dio problema no le puedo terminar. Me quisiera reforzar ese. Okay. Eh. One. Me dijo que es la one point five. One point five. Okay. Let me check right now. I'm charging my page. Okay. ¿Cuál le dio? ¿Cuál cuál fue la que dio problema en one point five? Ella dice que tenemos que ordenar los las palabras. Ah, entonces creo que no creo que es la one point seven. One point seven. Okay. Sí, one point seven es. 
Pero ya está resuelto eso de la the achievement will be delivered. Can be reforced this part. Sí, pero ya la ya la arreglamos que la que estaba mal era la número 2, ¿verdad? Que no 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 marcaba bien. Pero a mí no me salen las todas. <risa> ¿No le salen? No me salen todas, solo la primera. En la 1.7. Sí, sí, sí. Ah, pero no será por el internet, no sé. Claro, no. No, no, sé, no sé. ¿Y lo está haciendo el teléfono? Sí, estoy en el teléfono. Puede ser quizás que no, puede ser por el internet, porque así aquí me aparecen a mí las... Son cinco. Cinco, sí, es. ¿Cuál le aparece a usted nada más? No, a mí me parecen las cinco, es lo único que yo no las he podido ordenar. Ah, ok, ok, ya, pero, pero, ese, pero ese, okay, ese ya, ya está resuelto el problema que tenía, de que salía mal uno. Ok, okay. ahora acá, eh, usted dice la hora de estructurarla, no, no sabe por dónde iniciar. Exactamente, que hay ah. unas reglas ahí que no recuerdo muy bien, o sea, que no las he comprendido. Vale. Ve veamos la número uno. ¿Está, el, ¿Está ahorita está ahí en la, en la parte de la número uno? Estoy en el teléfono ahorita, no, 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 no puedo cambiar la otra parte. Ah, vaya, ok. Entonces ahí lo que usted tiene que buscar es primero el sujeto. Ajá. Ok, buscar el sujeto, después del sujeto, buscar el verbo. Y ya después usted cuando encuentre el sujeto y el verbo, de ahí para allá lo demás le va a ir tirando la respuesta. O sea, porque usted ya va a encontrar la clave que es el sujeto y que es el verbo. Okay, okay, okay. ok, entonces usted busca eso. Primero en toda oración usted busca el sujeto. Y después busca el verbo. Sí, Teniendo es esas dos, usted ya se va a buscar el complemento. Que ya es lo que más le va a ser más fácil. Ah, ok. Esa es la clave. Esa es la clave, ajá. Usted tiene que buscar, por ejemplo, para, digamos que tenemos acá la, la primera la primera oración. Déjame la acá. 1.7. Bueno, le voy a compartir acá, por ejemplo. Esta parte va. Sí, sí, sí. Vale. Imaginémonos que tenemos acá la, la número uno. Vale. Para usted, ¿cuál es el sujeto de esa oración? Eh, tiene que ser los retailers, ¿no? Vaya, vale, retailers, vaya. Vale. Ahí está, retailers. Luego, eh, ¿dónde está el verbo? Produce. Help you produce. Ah, ok. Help you produce. Ok. Luego. Viene last. Ajá. Uh -huh. el, el, ¿El as que va solo o el as que va acompañado? El as que va solo. Are you sure? <laughs> Uh, uh, yes. Ok, as, bye. Ok, y luego. Much profit as good seller. As good seller. Ok, very nice. Ahora veamos si está correcto. No. Es incorrecto. ¿Qué pudo salirnos mal? O sea, que prácticamente el as. Okay. Porque ya encontramos, encontramos, el, encontramos el verbo. Ok, de, el verbo creo que estamos bien, ¿verdad? Ajá. Veamos que nos pudo salir mal. As, úselo. 
as much, much profit. Okay, entonces sería as produce as ¿Cómo se sería? Yes. Okay. As much profit. Much profit. Veamos hoy. Si ha sido error de escritura o si ha sido que esa era la correcta. Incorrect. Ok, veamos entonces qué es lo que nos da error. Algo tiene que vernos mal. Retailers help you produce as much profit as all sellers, ¿verdad? No, al revés. Me recuerdo que era Retailer help you produce as who seller as most much profit. Ok, pero, pero esa fue la que nos tiró mala, ¿verdad? ¿eh? No. No, porque al principio solo le pusimos, después de produce, solo le pusimos el as. Uh -huh. Pero después era as. Who seller? As much profit. As who seller? As much profit. Vamos a ver acá. Mm -mm. El point. No hay a point. A point. Yo no sé si a point. Mm -mm. Yo creo que acá está el mistake. Vamos a ver. Help you produce as much profit. ¿verdad? Esta es la que habíamos puesto de primero, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. As all sellers. Veamos ahora. Yes. Esa era la correcta, ¿verdad? Sí. Algo le habíamos escrito mal. Vaya, pero entonces usted sí tiene la idea, porque vaya, usted lo que tiene que coger primero es el sujeto. Es la sí, única que está en mayúscula. Luego, acá el verbo help, y acá está help you produce. ¿verdad? Ok, muy bien. Luego el as, más profit, as wholesalers. O sea que la idea la tiene. Entonces, de la misma característica, de la misma forma, va complementando lo demás. Okay. Okay, va buscando lo que es el, el, en este caso el sujeto luego tiene que buscar el verbo, ¿verdad? aquí puede ser por ejemplo este que es el verbo to be ok, y luego aquí tenemos un comparativo, miren ajá ok ok, creo que, creo que estamos claros, verdad Sí, 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 sí. O sea, esta clave de buscar el. Primero el verbo y luego el. Primero, primero el sujeto, sujeto. Primero el sujeto y después el verbo. Sí, exacto. No. no. Okay. Ahí entonces. Ok, very nice, mister. Ok. Thank you very much, teacher. Ok, good night. Have a good night. Good night.